So Kat, would you believe that pizza can be an appetizer? Really? It is today on Totally Awesome Food Show. Okay, Bobby, out of all the recipes we've ever done, I love it. It's my I have, favorite. I have to agree. This is very, very good. Oh my gosh! This is like the ultimate appetizer. I've in never made. I've never made this for anyone who wasn't just absolutely blown away. That's Especially so... after they hear what's in it. So yeah, you because get... you're gonna go whatever. It's gonna be awful. But then. And I said the same thing. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's so, you, so good. You've got you've got savory on the bottom. Yes. And then a layer of sweet, and then more salty and savory on top. So today we are making fig and prosciutto pizza. Oh. It's amazing. You have not lived until you've had this pizza. Yes, and it's so easy to make. It is. This is literally all that you need right yes. here in front of you. Yes. So what we're going to start out with is a garlic-infused olive oil. I'm all for that. It may sound hard, but it's really not. All you do is you put some garlic through a press. Okay. Um, put it in olive oil. Microwave it for 20 seconds. Okay. Bam. Garlic-infused olive oil. It doesn't have to sit for days. Don't have to add a whole Love bunch of extra that. seasoning. It's it's very very easy. Then we've got rosemary. We're going to start. We're going to Go with rosemary next. Okay. Then a layer of fig preserves. Love that. Then prosciutto. Yes. Which is second only to bacon. Oh man. And feta, one of my favorite cheeses. That's my favorite cheese. Creamy, of all time. salty, yes. everything. So let's yes. start. Let's go ahead and get this going. Okay. So we will mix this up. And yes, spread this around. Divine. Yes. Get the garlic good and spread around. And you can use any kind of pizza crust. You can buy a pre-baked pizza crust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one was a uh, pizza crust in a can yeah. that we just rolled out. But you know what? They, the awesome thing about this now is they make the thin crust. And, and that that's, is that's so what we great got. we got the thin crust this time. a lot of people don't want just a whole lot of breaded stuff, especially if you're watching your carbs. Right. Awesome. Then we'll throw our rosemary on there, spread it out. It's not overpowering. It's not a lot of rosemary. Just enough to give it that hint. It is perfect. I never would have thought about using the rosemary in it either, but when you made it the last time, it was yeah, it, it was just perfect. It balances it, it the sweet out. At all. It balances the sweet of the figs very, sure. very well. Sure. Then we go with the figs, Yum. fig preserves, and again, this is just simple store-bought fig preserves. You can go crazy and make your own if you want, but and you can do that if you want to. Just mix it around. It's totally awesome. Do whatever you want. We're okay, real. and just FYI. Fig preserves are found in the jelly aisle. One of my friends emailed me and says, where the heck am I going to find fig, fig preserves? And they I'm couldn't thinking, find them? Yeah. Some Next. stores may not carry it either, so you need to be sure that if your grocer does not carry it, you need to ask for it because some, ple some people carry it and some people don't. So. And there's probably not going to be a huge section of it like there is for grape jelly because sure. it's not in they go high with more popular. demand. Sure. Next for the prosciutto, cooked it in a saute pan, drained it off, let it cool, and then just tore it apart by hand. You can make smaller pieces, bigger pieces. It's whatever you like. Prosciutto is so good. Yes. Very nice. It's real nice and thin, but it's still got a lot of flavor to and it. And if you like bacon, you're going to love prosciutto. Yes. It's a lot milder flavor than mm -hmm. bacon. And lastly comes the feta. Oh, the best part of the entire pizza is the feta. Now, if you didn't have feta, could you use mozzarella? You could use mozzarella. You could use blue cheese. Oh, that's a good you could, too. You could, any kind of cheese that's not super melty. Um, mozzarella would probably melt a little bit more, so I would leave it a lot chunkier. You could probably get mozza fresh mozzarella and chunk it Oh, you it can. Up. There's, a, there's a great place we're going to have to go sometime in Dallas called the Mozzarella Company. I would love to do that. I would, too. That would be so much fun. All right. Also, if you don't like just regular feta and you want to spice it up even more, my sister-in-law that I got this recipe from said that she uses a tomato basil flavored feta. Oh, I bet that And she said good. that actually makes it even better. I bet that is delicious. So it's whatever your taste is. Okay, so let's get this in the oven. 25 minutes at 350. Like I said, the cheese is not gonna melt. We're just mainly looking for the crust to crisp up. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. This absolutely smells great. And this is the only appetizer I'm worried about right now. Because <laughs> this is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one we've been waiting for to shoot. This is so the, like, we've got our pizza out smell. of the oven. Mm -hmm. Looking fantastic, crisp, crispy crust. Yes. Nice and thin. Yes. Also, another trick, um, when you're rolling out a thin crust like this, be sure and roll it a little bit, get all the air bubbles out on each side. Absolutely, and you know another thing we learned too, is it's a lot easier to roll this out when it's super cold rather than when it's room temperature. Because when it's room temperature, it really gets sticky and... Good point, we put it in the freezer for a while. If you get a, if you get a canned dough, yep. 
we put it in the freezer and it that way it's not quite as sticky it's very easy to work with sure we rolled it out to probably we rolled out an extra third mm -hmm. worth of size with no problem whatsoever all right let's go ahead and cut into this yes. and start trying it i love this knife that is a really cool knife you have there my uncle guy gave this to me when he lived in alaska it's I believe it's what they used to dress whales with. It's called an ulu knife. Ulu. But we use it for pizza. And there you go, guys. Fig and prosciutto pizza. Give it a give it Look a try. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm. What do you think? Mm, 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 mm. I'm so excited. It's delicious. Like immediately you get that mm -hmm. that sweetness from the fig. Mm -hmm. And then kind of layered in there is the prosciutto and the fat. And you know what? The rosemary is perfect. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a whole lot of it. Probably like a teaspoon of it. Really don't go overboard on the rosemary. No. It's perfect. This is perfect. Okay, I'm done. Totally awesome, guys. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, bye.